Hi everyone, I'm coming today to Bradley Valentine's Angel Tarot card deck for a message for us all. We're moving in to the shadow of the Mercury retrograde which goes into full retrograde on the 29th of May and it lasts then till the 22nd of June. So we're in the shadow so this brings up our shadow side which is perfect because that's what we need. We have been busy planting our intentions, these seeds of our manifestation so anything not in keeping with what we are, we are manifesting will come up and show us that we're still holding on to whatever emotions and we have the yard as well so the yard is the finger of god so we have gemini which is an air sign aries which is a fire sign the first fire sign in the zodiac and they're both pointing towards scorpio now scorpio is a water sign our emotions so what air fire and water just do not gel water always dampens so this can be an overflow of emotions because the these two are the finger of god is pointing towards scorpio so this will really intensify any emotions that we're, we still have that we've not dealt with the air sign overthinking and the, the mercury retrograde as well so lots of um, self-talk um, that we can be overthinking Aries the fire sign so it's good when we're passionate but if we step if that comes out of balance it becomes into anger so lots of things to to really be aware of while we're moving through through these times of change so i'm coming to the major arcana for a message for us the archangels for a message from us from the Radley valentine angel tarot card deck and asking for some guidance and to bring any messages through that will help us during this time so if you just take some nice deep breaths and the angels are showing me that these em em emotional memories that we have when when something triggers us inside then we look through the old pain of, of that emotion and we start to finger point that it's because of this that it's because somebody's doing this when it's not it's these emotions that have woken up within us and our ego it, this is all about our ego our ego as a banquet on adrenaline and cortisol so when we step into these emotional memories and things start triggering us the ego has a massive banquet on adrenaline and cortisol and and the ego is a, a junkie for, for um, these um, anxiety attacks and, and, and these chemicals imbalances in the body. So everything is in perfect alignment for us to really be aware of anything that is coming up for us. So if we step into an old feeling that feels familiar because it's been with us since way back when it might feel familiar and that voice might start to speak in that old familiar way and as soon as that happens we've come out of alignment so be aware and in total acceptance of that is allowing these emotions to come come up Feel them in every cell of your body because it's the cellular memory. That's what the, the finger of God is pointing to, the emotions, the cellular memory. So if any, any intense emotions come up, realise that it's nothing to do with anything outside of us. It's all memory. We may, have, we may think that we've dealt with it, but if we are feeling these old feelings and emotions, we've not dealt with it we only think we because we can think all the positive things under the sun but if we're still going through the same patterns if we're still pushing people away who act in a certain way that 
that reminds us of somebody in the past or then we've not we've not moved on so this time is all about really going deep and whatever happens around us somebody might get angry around us shout at us and then you know it's like what well, everybody going to be thinking it does not matter because nobody's going to be thinking anything that's not kind about us it will be the person who is shouting or stepped out of alignment and then it's because that person's stressed it's not it's no big deal it really isn't we take things too personally so when we start letting go of that and realizing that we are our, our worst judges we criticize we're our worst critics and we think everybody out there is criticizing us as well and they aren't and when we stop, when we let those thoughts go, it is so liberating. So the finger of God is pointing at the cellular memory that's come from past. So if we are getting any triggers to realise that this is something old, it's nothing that's happening around us, to really breathe the light of the archangels, breathe the light of the divine into those discomforts before we react because once we react it's like pulling that trigger on a gun it's gone when we can we when we can bring it back and not rush into anything then we, we are starting to make headway into the higher frequencies and into our dreams so this is bringing awareness to what's going on it's not jumping into it and going in and looking for stuff only if something arises because if we start looking for things and looking for why we're feeling this and, and and whatever's going on we will never move forward only if something arises naturally if it arises naturally own it accept it know that it's something from the past and you know that it it's not going to serve us so not to project it in our outside world so i'm asking the archangels for a message for some guidance so just letting go now of anything that has been presenting itself to you over the past forever <laughs> anything that just keeps coming up and, and we think it's normal but when you actually look at it it's not really energizing us it's not uplifting us it's it's doing the complete opposite really it's keeping us stuck so I'm asking the angels to give us some healing now so just take some nice deep breaths and just allow your body to relax and allow anything, any emotions, any discomfort, any fears, anything to just dissolve into the light of the archangels. This is true acceptance. This is true surrender. There's nothing hard about acceptance. And I'm asking the archangels for a message for us all to bring through some guidance that will help us through this time and we have Archangel Raziel so this is the hermit so again going within and Archangel Raziel is the wizard of the Archangel realm and this is where it, he, he's showing us that it, everything all the disharmony stops here not to project it forward because miracles um, our wishes, our intentions happen when everything is in harmony, when everything's disjointed uh, and out of alignment, it, it's never, it doesn't last, it's constant. Um, the old energy will sh present itself into whatever we're manifesting. So Archangel Raziel is echoing what we've just been saying, go within take that light of awareness within shine that light of awareness within every cell of your body 
and allow this beautiful light to cleanse and clear anything that's distorted because when we have emotional uh, memory when we look at things it becomes a distortion we look at it through this emotion so archangel raziel is looking forward with that fixed gaze that showing us that if anything out there starts to disrupt anything within here we take that light of awareness within and and again there's planets all around him so he's telling us look there's a planetary alignment that is there for our benefit and it's bringing things up so stay aware of it we've got the lunar eclipse as well on the 26th of may which is very powerful and that's in sagittarius so it's a full lunar eclipse and that is also sagittarius is a fire so that's a, a fire sign as well so just being aware of all this movement in the heavens helping us to bring stuff up so that we are not carrying this burden and this baggage any further and archangel raziel is helping us to to become our own spiritual teacher to to really look within and and this self discovery because once we look into it and we act in a different way these emotional memories are very limiting they will keep us stuck so when we let them go and act in a different way we become limitless everything becomes easy so he's helping us he's the magician and he's helping us with this self-discovery and to work with the planetary lineup that is occurring at this time and i'll choose another for lovers so um for those who are looking for love this card keeps coming up it's it's the heart chakra it's archangel raphael and instead of looking at at people fault finding if there's something about somebody you don't like then stop looking at that and look at something that you do like because we can all fault find forever we can find faults in it especially when we're looking at ourselves and the angels are saying stop doing that really look at the things you like because the more you look at the things you like that's what expands that's what grows if we're looking at things that we don't like that's what's going to expand so they're working with our heart chakra so going within as we draw in love to us and we and we whether it's our relationship our husbands wives or people with our partners our life partners or somebody new coming in it's to remind us whatever we focus on is going to expand and that's all we will see so if if somebody has hurt us in the past and we are holding on to that pain thinking that we have let it go thinking that we've healed from it because we don't think about it anymore it's stuck in the cellular memory so we will start projecting it onto our loved one to the people close to us so we will see we will start to punish our loved one because of what's happened to us in the past and so let's take a nice deep breath now and and feeling the archangel archangel raphael bringing that beautiful healing light into our heart chakra dissolving past pain not only from this lifetime but from past lives as well completely letting go and and he's saying if you're doubting a relationship if you think it's never going to happen that's a self-fulfilling prophecy that is a fear that you're stuck in you might think you want love but you're holding yourself back so he's saying just let go now let this energy of love just flow from your heart into everyone you meet and see the see the best of everyone and honestly this creates a beautiful beautiful world and that's what we're moving into we're moving into a new earth that everybody is appreciated we see the best in everyone and so archangel raphael is saying focus on your heart don't be fault finding and look at how your 
and look at how you are treating yourself, how you're respecting yourself. And and respecting ourselves is not being on a on a I arse and thinking I I deserve better than this or whatever. It's when something happens to us, are we going into pain? Are we feeling sorry for ourselves? Are we backing are we going back, stepping back away from relationships? Or are we actually dissolving how it's making us feel and seeing everything from a different perception and not jumping to conclusions and not jumping to assumptions, just staying in alignment and allowing everybody to be exactly who they are, but seeing the best of them and seeing the best of ourselves. And I'll pick another and the moon. So Archangel Haniel, we're on this new moon. And we're coming up to the full lunar eclipse on the 26th of May. And it is in Sagittarius, so it's another fire sign. So the moon is all about our psychic awareness, our, our spiritual gifts. And, and she's showing us we've got everything we need to alchemize all this, all this this cellular memory that that just keeps pre presenting itself and we think it's happening outside of ourselves she's saying that we've got everything we need within us our own intuition will guide us and when something doesn't feel right if we're about to to jump into something now say something and it's not coming from an aligned place we know if it's not going to make anything better, it's going to make something worse. So she is bringing us in and and asking us to feel our way through this energy. Feel it. She'll guide us with her grace. She's the Archangel of Grace. She will guide us with grace through whatever we are going through. So we have got three ma mighty Archangels here to ask for help while we're going through these changes because they are changes we are moving and raising our frequency and in order to do that we have got to let go of this cellular memory that God is helping us and, and pointing to and intensifying for us to just be aware of it being aware of it and 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 surrendering it and and as we are surrendering it it's just letting it come up but we're not projecting it out we're actually being aware of it and surrendering it because we are not going to project it out into our reality anymore because that is karmic and we're all going through a karmic time at the moment well we always are but it, it, it everything's just more intensified now so we have 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 33, 33. So we have six again. Well, 33 is a master number, 33. Um, so this is the Ascended Masters helping us. And yes, of course, we have the Pleiadians. So on the 17th of May to the 22nd of May, there's a portal opening and we have got direct connection with the Pleiadians and the Pleiadians are beautiful star people, star beings that are healers, are miraculous healers, that they're that are here to, to help the world ascend, to help each individual and the world and the earth as as to ascend so there we have a portal open at that time so write down take a pen and paper and write down any messages that you feel you will know when you when the Pleiadians are speaking to you you'll see the little blue lights everywhere you'll have those thoughts and you'll feel them around you so yes, we, we have the, the Ascended Masters around us, but also the six is we're going through a karmic time, which is good. We all, have, we all have karma. Nobody gets away with it. We all serve our karma and it is owning it. And 
the only way we can heal it is through love love for ourselves and love for everyone around us regardless of how anybody's acting at this time because we're all going through the same energy some don't know some do um, and it's up to us to guide people and and forgive and to move on now i'm sending so much love i hope this has helped it's a wonderful time i'm sending so much love and healing to anyone who needs it remember to call on the archangels breathe that light in allow it to dissolve anything that you're feeling at that moment that you're calling the archangels in they're there within an instant all we have to do is ask and they work in miraculous magical ways in our lives and the more we ask the more we see it and and sometimes we can forget but then when we do ask we think oh yeah this is amazing so call on your archangels call on your angels for help and guidance during this time i'm sending so much love and angel blessings to you all and thank you thank you for listening thank you god bless thank you